Okay, so if you're the type of person who might stay home on a Saturday night to watch Carl Sagan on Netflix... In fact, a hundred billion other galaxies. Then this video just might be for you. For some time now, you've been asking mortician, Kindly tell us how to donate our future corpses to science. Now you can't really donate your body to science per se, just like you can't donate your body to math or democracy, but you can donate your body to medical schools or scientific research facilities. Medical schools will accept donations of your whole dead body, but you have to have forms signed with witnesses prior to your death. Even if you fill out all the forms totally perfectly, you still need to make sure that your family and your next of kin are on board with the whole body donation idea. Because if your elderly mother is lying sprawled out over your dead body, saying, don't let the bad doctors take him, I can guarantee you that Harvard Medical School is not going to pry your cold dead body out of your mother's hands and take it away into the night. Nowadays, it's considered a very noble act to donate your body to train the bright young minds of medicine. But in the 18th and 19th century, when human anatomy wasn't really well understood, the hip bones connected to the ear bone. The demand for human corpses to dissect was so high that surgeons and anatomists turned to robbing the grave. And thus, this evil-looking lobster cage contraption, the Mort Safe, was created. It's an, an iron padlock cage to prevent someone from robbing your fresh grave. Donating your body can also go the route of private research facilities who will pay for absolutely everything and sometimes even return cremated remains to your family at the end of the process. But the downside is that they get to do absolutely anything they want with your body. Just like you can't say, I want my tax money to go to that specific crappy pothole on my street. You can't say, I want my body only to be used for tests to save sick babies. They might use you for cancer research or Alzheimer's research or shoot you full of bullets to test new ballistic missile weapons. They might use your head for one thing and your feet for another. They may use you like this recent study that used cadaver hands to test the dangers of pumpkin carving knives. Conclusion? Pumpkins will kill you. Now, all of this may sound horrifying and dystopian, or it may sound modern and fascinating and like the right thing to do. And that's the beauty of having lots of different body disposal options. You get to think about it and pick the one that makes you feel the most positive about your own death. Living tissue, whole flesh, weird science. Lightning round bonus question. Can I have just my skull preserved to give to my wife slash husband to keep on their mantelpiece? This skull is from my father. The classroom. He taught anthropology. Look, I really wish the answer to that question was, oh yeah, yeah, totally, here's the website. But unfortunately, the answer for now is no. There are quite a few practitioners that I've talked to who are willing and able to perform such a procedure, but there are also a lot of uncreative burial and disposition laws in the Western world. But we're working on it, I promise. By the time that I die, we will be able to put my skull on the mantelpiece of the Order of the Good Death Research Institute, where I will spend eternity silently judging you all. Science, 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 science,